And welcome back to the castle, everybody. This is Night Saber Z42. And today I wanted to bring in a little quick tutorial video on Roll20 and specifically about the transmogrifier. Um, how it works, what you can do with it, and its limitations. And this act this idea came from when I was actually uh playing Humblewood. Um and before the module came out on Roll20, I had actually put in many of my own assets into it, which I guess I can show you um, right here. And um, when the mod came out, I went ahead and purchased it and, you know, just to kind of support the team behind it and, you know, um, all of that stuff. And one of the things that I came to learn is that... Um, well, first off, the actual assets in the mod itself are way better than the ones that I managed to pull off from the PDFs and put into my own game. And so one of the things that I had to do was actually go into the transmogrifier and um, pull certain pages. So when you have a page, like let's say that um, you want to import a page... In between a game um, you could use the transmogrifier to actually pull like a battle map that you might be using or like an actual map so like just as the example that I have if I had actually um, started this first and then went ahead and um, purchased a official module I can import some of those uh, pages so here you have a list of all the pages the characters which I've already put into um, one of my Star Wars uh, videos I believe um, handouts that you have could also be imported so like let's say that I need the uh, bandit camp map I can just go ahead and drag that on over and it'll put it in to my page so now it is right there and the cool thing about this, doing it this way, like if you actually have an official module that you're taking it from, it'll put in all of the uh, the uh, enemies and where they're supposedly at. But if you have an official module, um, a lot of the times they will actually have it have the dynamic lighting all set up for you. So if that's something that you use in your games, um, it's automatically done for you. Um, of course, at the time of this recording, uh, Roll20 has changed the way the uh, UI for, like, everything here, like, in your page settings and the dynamic lighting and all of that stuff. So I'll probably do a separate video on that some other time. So aside from importing characters, you can import pages into your uh, campaign. Unfortunately, I do not need this, so I'm going to archive it for later actually I'm just gonna delete it but there you go um, so one of the limitations that I have come across in the transmogrifier you can import pages you can import um, characters handouts but I came across this problem when I was um, sharing my adversaries from Star Wars um, you cannot transmogrify items, pages, characters, handouts, any of that, if you are not the creator. So if you're not the GM, like the primary GM, the first GM or whatever, you cannot transmogrify it into your own content, which at this, at, I, I can see why that would be because then you'd be sharing like paid content that somebody might not actually have paid but at the same time I kind of wish there was like a get around like if you created it then you could share it but then again you know that's the whole thing about paid like you know if you create if you just copy down something that's paid and give it to somebody else for free then you know you're kind of just limiting the revenue for that company which is pretty bad so don't do that um so that is a uh, that's the limitation that I can see. If you're not the sole GM, like if you're not the primary GM, then you can't transmogrify it into your own campaign, which 
them's the rule, but there is a workaround for the Star Wars stuff, which I'll show later, which isn't really a workaround. It's just a resource that you can use. So I'll definitely post that. So that's kind of just the gist of what I wanted to show. Um, just a little like quick reminder of what the transmogrifier can do, mainly because I came up across a situation that I needed to use it for. So thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, post any ideas for more tutorials that you might have. And I will see you guys in the next video.